Hey everyone, Ryan come back at you here with uh, what is one of three different group Beckett submissions I did in the month of February. Um, this one, instead of being more of a reveal, I told uh, a lot of the fellas that were in this order uh, that I was going to put this on video because I'm going to send this to my rep at Beckett. Because what happened in this order is actually kind of the reason why, what, uh, partially part of the reason why I'm wanting to switch even my own personal collection from back at the PSA there's a lot of what happened in this order that like is totally inexcusable um, so I can't wait to see what they do to try to correct this um, I'm just gonna start with this one <laughs> there's only 17 cards in here so I'm gonna try to fly as quick as I can I say half of them turned out fine the other half I, there's no consistency like there's a growing level of inconsistency at Beckett so this one right now I'll show you this beautiful card skybox out of graphics Emmett Smith on card auto out of a hundred beautiful card what does it say? No grade. What does it say on the back for reason? Not that it was tampered with or anything like that. It just says service unavailable. Service unavailable on a regular card stock on card autograph that was certified by Skybox. Um, no reason uh, in my email or on my order page, there's no reason why this card didn't get graded. The unfortunate part of that, not only is the customer still wants this graded, but now I still have to send this back. I've already paid to have the card graded. You already charged me. Uh, as well as my return insurance and my return shipping. There is no reason why this card didn't get graded other than service unavailable. So pretty shitty about that one. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to leave on a high note. So I'm going to go put those there. Okay. <laughs> so these are just like... This one isn't as bad as the next one. This is for another one of my buddies. You can't really tell, but they're kind of just like thrown in there. I had to like pound this out and straighten it out. Um, but on every single one of these cards, like I feel terrible for him because his centering is always like 10, edge is 9 or 9.5, surface 9 or 9.5. They gave him a 7 on every corner that he submitted in this fucking order. <laughs> this is absurd. So that drew it to a 7.5. And, and I, I mean, all these were all really sharp when they left. Here's another one. Like, this is how it was packed in there. Well, I'm holding it up vertically. You can't really tell. I mean, the card's just like packed in there all haphazardly. And what I've noticed um, is that on the back, try to zoom in on this. Once they packaged this, they like annihilated so many of the edges. That was not a part of this. This is the worst card coming up. And uh, I know the guy who owns this card is going to be livid. Um... But this is a 2012 Valor. Centering was a 10. It is 9. Or surface 9. The corners were a 9. However, in the process of packaging this... <laughs> look at that. I mean, like... They just threw it in there. But check this out. I don't know if you can see that. They, like, thrashed the edges all the way across. On the front. On the back. Yeah. Look at that. They gave this... Edge is a 9. It might have been a 9 before you packaged it. Now, this wouldn't get a 6. <laughs> it's all over this card. I There's no excuse. And then, like, the cellophane wrapper on the inside is open on, on <laughs> all four sides. This card was packaged by an amateur. And uh, something's got to get done to make that right. And I don't know how they're going to do it. There's no way this card is an 8.5 at this point. And I really, I wish I can get in on this better. You can see that it's so open on the side here that the card is literally just resting on the plastic and not the cellophane on the inside. So that's super unfortunate. And then these two are just misgrades. These are both uh, the purple short print variation of the 2012 Bowman, and they just titled them 2012 Bowman. So, yeah, Peyton signed for another year. That's good for him. Um, and then it gets just better. But yeah, that's all that's bullshit. So mislabeling, damaged the card, and didn't take care of the card as you put it in the, the packaging. Didn't care about the card and you put it in the packaging. You damaged the edges on the back. And this one, this one just... Fucking... Service unavailable. Didn't grade a card. Didn't say it was tampered with. It's not tampered with. I bought it from a legit seller who I knew opened this himself. And uh, just said no grade. Service unavailable. So this stack right here... They better fix that soon. So, flying through the rest of it, because the rest of it's fine. 
Nothing really out of the ordinary. There's a Andrew Luck Cracked Ice Black Friday. Uh, this is another one. It sucks. Centering 10. Edge is 10. Surface 9, 5. Corners got an 8.5. 9 on Turkey Red. That's a tough card. Uh, Center got 10 on like all these. Uh, Andrew Luck, UD Black. Not UD Black, sorry, Panini Black. And then there was another one of these Valors where they kept the edges uh, intact on this one. So that was nice on their part. These are harder to come by than the autographs, actually. So that's why my buddy sent, he had like two or three of them. He had three of them, I think. And then we decided just to send these two in because they were in great shape when they left my house. Um, so that's a thing. And then, what's this one? Oh yeah, uh, five star. Another one of those things where the cellophane on the inside is cut on all four sides. It is not sealed at all. And it's just resting on the plastic right here at the top. Hashtag Bush League. Bush League. Bush League. I don't, I don't know. Uh, this one was mine. 0.5 away from a pristine 10, if you're into that kind of thing. 2014 uh, Blue Wave Andrew Luck Refractor. Love to look at that. They sealed this one appropriately, and there's only a few scratches on the brand new case. It's for my buddy Jared. Um, he had two of the Pulsars and one of the x fractors out of 2013. Believe it or not, these completed his rainbow. <laughs> he had all the other, you know, higher print runs. So Jared will be really excited to get those. And that will also pair well with his, we got one of these, if you're into that kind of thing. The new pristine quad 10 black label, T.Y. Hilton rookie hard hat autograph out of 99. That card's in great shape. And then the best card that came back in the order was out of uh, 2005 Ultimate Collection. This card was sealed appropriately and looks like the card is still in good shape. <laughs> but gold bar, Joe Cool, Joe Montana, number one of 15, go Irish for a local guy here. Um, so good things with that. So half the order, uh, acceptable and very pleased with what happened out of that, but the other half, I gotta get on the phone with Becca tomorrow and now raise hell. Cause like this would be the third or fourth order in a row now where the cases are cracked or scratched or the cards are just like thrown in there and, and damaged now. I'm just, I, I, I have no words for them at this point other than like this has to change uh, because there's a lot of money funneling into these uh, different authenticators and uh, they kind of just don't give a shit. So. I'm going to have to send all that back to them, which is going to be an additional cost, an additional cost to send back, which I hope they cover all of that. Um, possibly throwing some new grades, and maybe next time they don't have a guy on training day handling uh, several hundreds of dollars worth of cards. And I give them some like real cheap base cards to like, practice with. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but uh, there's no uh, checks and, you know, there's no oversight in the process right now, and that's really discouraging. Uh, on the on the other side of the fence, so with PSA, I have three orders that are there right now, and like they're just like at least Beckett, they tell you like they get a card, it's a ten day process, it will be no ifs ands or buts, ten days. PSA, I sent them stuff, had them signed for it, they didn't even start the processing until like seven days later, and then if it was like a five day order, they're like, well, that's just an estimated five days. Kid you not, just had an order ship out today that they've had. It was a five day order that they've had for over a month. <laughs> and like, I asked for some type of compensation over the phone with them and they were like, well, if you just read the fine print in the uh, in your submission form, it says blatantly in there, like these are all just estimated time frames, and your processing only starts when like the last card is keyed into our system. And I, I don't know, man, it's a racket. Say it, babe. Racket. It's a racket. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, you're better off maybe just buying singles graded already on eBay because people are only popping up things that aren't thrashed straight from the company. So it uh, just sucks because I know all this stuff are going into PCs. Um, and uh, I just want to make sure those people get taken care of, you know? So that's what we're here for. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, cue Lucy snoring. That means she's tired of me talking and we got to get to dinner. So hope you all have a great rest of your week. And uh, my next video will be on a much
more positive note. That's all I have for you guys today, and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Deuces.